Well, good morning, guys. My wife has told me after viewing some of these YouTube videos that it looks like I've lost my best friend. She said, that's not the Mr. Jones that your students know. And she's right. I guess it's just because I'm in here all by myself trying to do all this. That doesn't discourage me. It's just I've got nobody to entertain. And you know me, I like an audience. Well, as you can see here, it's out of the booth and all untaped. And it really does look good, guys. Uh, the work, the prep work you did uh, was excellent. Uh, we are definitely going to have to, and we're, I'm going to wait until you guys get back. I don't, I don't know if it's this year or next year. We're going to paint that top for him, a nice satin black. And I want to go around and see, <laughs> these bumpers really look bad now. They didn't, you didn't notice how bad they looked when it was, the rest of the paint on the Jeep was shot. But now, I think it'd be nice if we, uh, repaint these bumpers for him when you guys get back. But anyway, I'm going to put the phone down and put some of this stuff back together. Uh, hopefully I'll be in a little more positive attitude this time. I got the front end pretty much all back together. Looks nice. Now this is a little review. Remember I said the reason we painted the hood off of this thing is because you wouldn't be able to get paint underneath here. It would look fine when the hood's down, like it does right there. But when you would open the hood up, it really wouldn't look very nice at all. But now when you open the hood, the paint is smooth all the way to the edge. That's what we're looking for. 